Supply and Demand, an introduction. This is what we talked about in our last class. The typical supply and demand curves look like this. We have supply in red, demands in blue, and we have equilibrium in purple. Henceforth, the purple price, the purple Q represents quantity. And let me build this for you. So economists use a standard Cartesian plot, which means we have Y on the vertical axis, X on the horizontal axis. We put prices on the Y axis. Prices go from low to high. Quantity per unit of time is on the horizontal axis. And less quantity, more quantity. Now let's talk about the demand curve. At low prices, people want to consume a lot, so demand's high. At high prices, people will consume low amounts of something, small amounts. The demand curve slopes downward. Again, at high prices, people consume less. And at low prices, people consume more. In other words, prices and quantity demanded move in opposite directions, and there's an inverse relationship. More, they actually don't more, but they move in opposite directions. Prices go down, quantity demand goes up. Now we see just the opposite for supply. At lower prices, suppliers are willing to supply less. At high prices, they're willing to supply more. So at low prices, less supplied. And as prices go up, they're willing to supply more. So prices and quantity supplied, they move in the same direction. Prices go down, same type of deal. So what we say is there's a direct relationship. They move in the same direction, prices and quantity supplied. Now, in economics, we say that things move towards equilibrium. And what this says is supply and demand is always shifting back and forth. They never seem to be constant. This is one of the reasons why it's really difficult to uh, apply some of these concepts in principle or in practice because supply and demand are always changing. The market's always fluxing and, and varying. But we say it's towards equilibrium. Another useful concept we're going to talk about throughout the semester is the thing called consumer surplus. The blue area means is the area defined by consumer surplus. And if you look at the demand curve, you'll find that there's people who will buy the product above the equilibrium price. Producer surplus is the area below equilibrium price, which you see by the like the pink area. That means there's people who will supply at prices below the equilibrium price, but they don't have to because they can sell their product at the market price. And we'll discuss this a lot over the semester. Consumer surplus. It's the amount that consumers benefit by being able to purchase a product for a price that is less than they would be willing to pay. They paid less than they would have been willing to pay. That's all that means. They got a good deal. Producer surplus, it's the amount that producers benefit by selling at a market price that is higher than they would be willing to sell for. They would have sold the product or service for less money. That's the bottom line. And that's an introduction to supply and demand.